It is time for another exciting episode of How's the Market? This is where I get you up to date of what's happening in the housing market here in Brevard County and the Cocoa Beach area. So stick around. So I'm certain that you're aware of it, but 2021 was a record year for real estate sales here in Brevard County. We topped over 17,000 properties for sale in 2021, which was an 11% increase over 2020, which at the time was another record year. The median sales price for 2021 was 288,500 bucks, which was a 15% increase over 2020's $250,000 median price. Our average sales price was 347,577 bucks, which was a 16% increase over 2020's $247,000. Average price per square foot was 217 bucks compared to 187 in 2020. And the average days on market were 23 and a half days versus the 47 days that happened in 2020. Over half the sales in 2021 happened in seven days or less compared to uh, about a third of the sales in 2020. And we had, um, we averaged a 0.9 month supply of properties for sale. So just under a month compared to just over two months in 2020. We also had some record prices of property sales over a million dollars. There were 361 properties to sell in Brevard County over a million bucks versus the 202 that happened in 2020. So that's a quick overview of what happened here in the Space Coast, all of Brevard County with our real estate market. It's time to break down what's happening in Cocoa Beach and we are gonna start with the single family homes. So Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral, we had 176 homes sell in 2021, which is down from 2020 number of 203 for 2020. I think part of the reason why we had a pullback in some of the sales with Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral single family homes is the lack of inventory that was out there. In 2021, we averaged 27 homes at any given time on the market for sale versus the 42 that were available in 2020. And as of today, there were 20 active listings on the market, but seven of those were new construction single family homes in South Cocoa Beach. And another reason is what's happened with the price of homes in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral. Median sales price for 2021 was $635,000 versus $480,000 in 2020. Average sales price was $771,000 versus uh, 562,000 in 2020. And also the average price per square foot was up 344 in 2021 versus $266 a square foot in 2020. Condo sales on the other side, on the other hand in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral was an amazing year. We had over, we had 767 condo sell in 2021 versus 656 in 2020. So a slight increase in the number of properties for sale. And in spite of having a good number of condominiums sell uh, in this previous year, the active inventory that you had to choose from dropped dramatically. On average in 2020, we had 164 condos for sale at any given time. And in 2021, that number dropped to 62 active condos for sale. The median sales price in 2021 was 309,000 versus 278,000 in 2020. Average sales price this last year was 345,000 versus 302,000, another good increase in values. And the sales per square foot only makes sense, $264 per square foot in 2021 versus 220 in 2020. The condos are also selling at a much quicker rate. The average days on market for a condo in Cocoa Beach were 31 days in 2021 versus the 64 days in the previous year. So there you have it. As you can see, this was a fantastic year for real estate sales as a whole in Brevard County and in the Cocoa Beach area. Congratulations to the sellers that decided to sell their property and congratulations to the buyers who actually were able to, to purchase a property in 2021 as well. Looking at the new year, I see pretty much a lot of the same thing that we've dealt with. Active inventory has continued to drop normally December and into January, we see a slight increase in the number of properties for sale and it's actually going in the opposite direction. Inventory is dropping rather quickly. And until we have an increase in our inventory and or a decrease in our sales, we're gonna continue to be in this kind of very active seller's market. So we're 
So we definitely have a need of um, needing new properties on the market for sale. If you look at the, the whole of what listed in 2021, we did have more properties come on the market in 2021 versus 2020, but we're still behind the, the new listing numbers that we saw in like 2018 and 2019. I know I've spoken with a few prospective home buyers that were considering buying a property, but they've decided, um, hoping that the market is going to cool off. They feel that we've had too good of a run over the last couple years and that it's got to cool off soon. And they're waiting for some type of bubble or correction that's going to happen in the marketplace. These buyers are also hoping or predicting that there's going to be a wave of foreclosures coming in the new year. And I really don't see that coming anytime soon. Um, the last couple years the foreclosure sales that have been happening here in Brevard County have been declining and looking at the percentage of properties that are available for sale right now versus that are foreclosures versus the active market it's a very tiny percentage of what's happening in our marketplace right now and because of the huge increase in value that we've had over the last couple years those who have gotten behind on their mortgage payment and the banks might be starting the foreclosure process I would ask that you talk to a real estate professional just to see the value that you have in the home and see what kind of equity you might have. Of the homes that are coming on the market, I'm seeing quite a few that have been vacant and these have been second homes for folks that have decided that, you know, maybe that they don't use their house very often. This is a good time to sell. So if you have a second home or a vacation property here in Cocoa Beach or in Brevard County, I would love to talk to you so you can see where the value is and you can see if it makes sense. I'm also seeing a lot of folks that have had a rental property, did not renew the lease with the tenant, asked the tenant to move out, and then they have put the home on the market to recapture some of the equity and value that they have. And these are the type of properties that would help buyers that are coming in the marketplace either to get their own home or maybe they're looking to purchase their second home or income property too. So buyers, if you are looking to purchase a property in 2022, I recommend talking to your mortgage professional and get your loan lined up and start shopping and have patience with the process because there are fewer homes that, on the mar that are on the market right now and we're selling through a great percentage of them. So expect to be competing with other offers on the property and there's a good possibility that you're gonna be competing against a cash offer. The good news is buyers are purchasing properties every day and we could work together with a strategy to make certain that your offer is accepted on the house that you like. So if you are planning to move, either you're um, looking to, to move into the area or looking to sell your property and move out of the area, I am certain that you have questions. I hear from folks like you every day that have questions about their move that I love to answer and I would love to hear from you too. You can call me, you can text me, you comment below. If you happen to be on any of these social media platforms, you can find me there and send me a direct message, however you like to communicate, I am great with. And if you stuck around this long, you probably liked the video. If you haven't done so already, you should probably hit that subscribe button. Any comments that you have that you'd like to drop below, I also appreciate as well. My name is Eric Larkin with Real Brokers here in Cocoa Beach on the Space Coast. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.